Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Hugh. A native of Dauphine, Saint Hugh was made a canon at Valence at the early age of 25 while still a layman and as such he actively defended the reforms promulgated by Pope Saint Gregory the 7th. Consecrated Bishop of Grenoble 2 years later by Pope Gregory the 7th, Hugh who had been very reluctant to accept such a dignity endeavored for 2 years with great zeal but without much success to eradicate the evils of simony and concubinage in his diocese in the year 1082 convinced of his own ineffectiveness he resigned his office and became a benedictine monk at the austere abbey of chaisdu in auvergne the pope however commanded him to return to his episcopal see the following year and each of the four succeeding popes turned down his plea to be relieved of his duties it was hugh who in 1084 personally conducted saint bruno and his six companions to the wild alpin solitude near grenoble called chartreuse and presented them with that land on which they then constructed their first carthusian monastery which came to be known as the grande cartius saint hugh visited the monks frequently to share their life of poverty prayer and solitary study his personal austerities and excessive fasts affected his health and were only moderated at the insistence of saint bruno his spiritual director to relieve the distress of his poor he is said to have disposed of his golden chalice and episcopal ring and always traveled about on foot he was famed for his equable judgments which were readily accepted by both litigants his end came on the 1st of april 1132 after some 40 years of physical and mental suffering and he was canonized 2 years later by pope innocent the 2nd